We're going to be converting this playhouse behind me into a chicken coop today on New York Eternic. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you for coming back to check us out here today at New York Eternics. As you can see behind me, I have a playhouse. The kids are getting a little bit too big for it and I figured, hey, why toss it? We could turn it into a chicken coop. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today here on New York Eternics because it's the end of September, it's getting kind of cold outside. We are in Buffalo, New York. We're gonna need a nice warm place for the chickens. Uh, if you look over here, they've been perched up behind well, behind where I am right now, perched up next to the house. That's where they like to spend their nights. We're going to try to get them into their new home and hopefully they like it because I'm about to hook it up for them. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got all my supplies together. For the most part, what I'm going to be needing here, the main ingredients are going to be this plywood that's behind me. I have that plywood, again, left over from when I built the hutch over the summer for the quail. And we're going to be using that to, you know, border off the open parts of the playhouse. Again, we're converting that into a chicken coop. So uh, what else do we need? I have a drill here, of course. Uh, batteries in the house charging. That's gonna be done in a minute. I have drill bits and impact driving. I have both of my uh, toolboxes that have all my woodworking and you know miscellaneous tools in them. I have the horses set up. Of course I have my saw. Where would I be without my saw? And I have two milk crates. I don't know if you can see this over here, but these milk crates I'm gonna be using inside of the new chicken coop uh, for basically nesting boxes. Uh, so we're gonna get started on that. All right. And uh, if it's only one thing that I can pass along to you when it comes to building is that you should always measure twice and cut once. So we're gonna be covering all the open parts like I mentioned before. I'm gonna be covering them from the outside actually. I think that would be a better idea. Uh, give them you know, a little bit more space and uh, also make it harder for predators to get in. I'm gonna be covering it with plywood. I'm gonna be securing that plywood with screws. Now if we measure here, we have exactly a foot across and if we cut our piece of wood exactly one foot across, we should have enough to cover this. And then we go on to have about, uh, what do we have here? Eh, 20 and a half inches. So this is gonna be 12 by 20 and a half, 12 by 20 and a half. These are the same size windows right here. And we're gonna cut a piece of wood that will fit right over here and keep this secure and we're going to do the same for this now i'm guessing this is going to be almost the same across uh, for this we have exactly 11 so we're probably going to cut that piece of wood uh, about 10 and a half and then going up and down we're looking at 26 26 and a half so 11 by 26 and a half there And then we have to get the measurements on the inside as well. Now the windows on the inside look to be about the same as the windows on the outside, but they could be a little bit different. I don't want to make a, you know, I don't want to take the chance and cut a piece of wood that'll be too small for those. So I'm going to make sure I get those measured. Uh, also, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but there's a, uh, fold down part that was the play range inside of the playhouse uh, we're going to be using that to sit the milk crates on top of that we're going to be using for the nesting boxes now if you look right here it's not going to be really possible to get this uh, to get a piece of wood on the outside of this because it's not flush so we're going to do that from the inside and I'm going to make sure I measure that I'm going to need a rough measurement from the outside because uh, I'm going to have to take off the microphone to get the right measurement from the inside. But we have about 20 inches going up and down. And 
uh, roughly a foot going across. So it's almost the same size as these windows, but we're gonna get these measured properly and we're gonna get our wood cut. All right, so if you remember, I'm gonna need two 12 by 20 cuts. Now I have a rectangular piece of plywood here. I wanna make it work to the best of its ability. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna cut these two pieces of plywood. Again, I'm gonna need two 12 by 20. So let's measure this thing the long way. I have uh, 20, 20's here. That's a little bit more than halfway. So suffice to say, I'd be wasting it if I try to get two 20's going down this way because here's my uh, 20 mark. So the halfway, you know, somewhere around here, we're not gonna get 20's. So what I'm gonna do is cut the two 12's from right here. I'm going to go 12. I'm going to go right there and go 20 inches out. There's a 20 inch mark. So we're going to get two of those right here. So let's get busy cutting them. All right, so this is the prime example of what I was talking about earlier with measure twice, cut once. We need 20 and a half inches, not the 20 inches. So we're going to extend this out to the 20 and a half. I'm going to take the T-square. They're going right there. That's how we're going to make our cut. And again, we're gonna make two of these, no problem.
All right, so basically I'm just making sure that we have everything quartered up in here. I'm sealing off all of the entries, not making it super secure. And then I'm only housing two chickens, so please don't come after me. We're gonna put these boards over all of the windows now. I don't know if you can see this here, but I have two milk crates that are gonna be sitting on top of this play range right here. And uh, I'm gonna put some nesting material in there. That's where I'm gonna expect the chickens to chill for the night. Now this doesn't take too much time at all. I've been working on this a collective maybe 40 minutes. I've taken a couple of breaks because, you know, I just got off of work not too long ago, but this is a really quick project. And again, just sealing off the uh, entry and exit points. And we're gonna, we're gonna get these tied together with zip ties and secure it onto this ledge so it doesn't fall. And we're gonna cover the back of this, or well, I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna cover the back of this with more plywood. And for now, let's go ahead and get this window covered. All right, so now we've got the milk crate secured in the playhouse, which is now the new chicken coop. We're gonna go ahead and get the plywood over this so they, uh, you know, aren't left unguarded at night. All right, so, so far what we have in here, we have sand already on the ground, purple sand from when the kids were playing with it. We have the area all boarded off and we have the milk crates right here. Now, this can't be complete without a ladder. So I'm gonna go ahead and build one of those. It looks like about two feet is gonna do. Uh, no, I'm going to use about 26 to 28 inches. All right, so I've decided on a 27 inch ramp, and that's going to, you know, have a whatever angle. I didn't measure the angle, but uh, here's 24. We're going to measure three more inches after that 24 to have our perfect size. So one, two, three. And again, this doesn't have to be exact. As long as the two pieces are the same size, you'll be good to go. Well, I'll be good to go. I don't know if you're gonna be building this. I'm just showing you what I'm doing here. Uh, take it as a tutorial or not. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So all I'm going to do is make sure that my next piece of wood is the exact same size. How do I do that? I grab this piece of wood and then I make a mark. Just like that. Move this piece of wood. We cut this one. Now we have two pieces of wood, the exact same size. And what I'm gonna do with them is put them side by side. I'm gonna make slats out of this. I'm gonna cut it in half and make the uh, ladder. Actually, what I could do, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the slats out of this. I'm gonna grab my ruler. So this is just under five and a half inches. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna, you know, try to be perfect with this. I'm gonna go inch and a half. Well, no, I'm gonna go an inch and a quarter. 
another inch and a quarter another inch and a quarter again doesn't have to be an exact science so I'm just going to cut a long I'm gonna cut the long way up the wood at those marks Not the safest way to do things, folks, but hey. We've got slats. All right, so I took the remaining piece of the uh, fence board here that I used, and I'm gonna arrange this. Here again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and use one inch screws to put this in here and we'll be pretty much done. All right, so we are all done for now. Let's take a tour. We're going to winterize it a little bit more as the season progresses but for right now we've got all of the entrances nice and sealed we have our late night poultry annoyer still active and if you take a look inside there's our ladder going into our two nesting boxes. Have the area to the sides and up under the ladder. And I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna clean these out and use these for feeders. I didn't realize these were in here until I was screwing the boards in. But I'm gonna come out here with the shop vac, clean these out. I'm gonna use those for chicken treats. It's gonna be awesome in here. We have the pine shaving on the floor. Same thing that I use for the quails. We put that in the nesting boxes as well. Again, these are just milk crates that double as nesting boxes. I've built this complete ladder out of one fence board, people. Made it 27 inches, cut that two pieces, 27 inches, took the rest of it, cut it into little pieces, made the ladder for the chickens. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the door open for them. See if they like it. All right, and thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime I leave a new video on the channel. I'd love to see you come back for more. Thank you again from New York Attorneys.